What is digital pickpocketing? Another thing for us to be afraid of, but what even is it? Yeah, this is a concerning development that's been around for quite a while in the UK and bit by bit we're hearing more and more about it in Ireland. So we all know about contactless payment. You can tap your card, you can tap your phone. And if you have been to any of the lovely Christmas markets around town, you might have seen people now using small contactless payment machines. So the retailer has a wireless payment machine that you can tap your card on. Well, unfortunately there are bad guys now using these machines and they are going into reportedly in Cork there is one example that we've heard of uh, going into Cork with one of these wireless uh, contact ma- contactless machines standing next to people who are ordering drinks at the bar with their cards in their pocket and taking small sums of money off their cards. Oh okay so they have the little machine they put it up against somebody's arse pocket or whatever yep. they do and, and, and it's as if that person has tapped exactly. and they've put a tenor or something on... It's oh very simple, word. and the, the the issue here is that these cyber criminal or these criminals tend to be quite savvy. So they'll take between five to thirty euro, like a small enough amount. But that you, you might actually have spent on the night out and not really known, especially if you drinks or what have you. Exactly. Oh dear. And uh, they tend to do these in small bursts, so they'll act for a week or so, and then they'll take money from all of these different people, all small amounts, but it all adds up, which is very very sinister. So people have to be savvy, and you know, if you're thinking, oh god, this is another thing to worry about I have solutions for you yes because I was going well what can you do okay so number one we often talk about tinfoil hats when it comes to this sort of stuff but if you want to protect yourself you can line your wallet with tinfoil not the most glamorous or practical solution and then they can't tap they can't tap okay number two this is my solution they're going to start bringing out wallets that are lined with tinfoil they already have them they're metal and they're completely uh, they, they, they break down the signal my solution is I use Apple Pay on my phone or if you have an Android phone use Google Pay that you that needs your face ID to be active Activated, so you could put your so you machine can't just up tap to my it, you phone have to and I won't do face anything. it or double click it or whatever it is. It, ha- it needs my attention. The other thing is look out for notifications. So if your bank has an app, make sure the app is on your phone. Enable the notifications every time a payment is made. Okay. That way then if you're on a night out and you buy a round of drinks, you think, okay, that's what that was. But if a random little payment pops up and you don't recognise it, go to the guards. People aren't going to the guards because it's for a fiver or yeah, a tenner. Yeah, yeah. But this is still a crime. So you have to report it so that we know where it's happening, how often it's happening and so on uh, but just protect yourself So as much use as your phone as well with the, with, with the, with the notifications because then you see oh look I've just spent a tenner I didn't know about kind exactly, of thing Exactly yeah so just be wary of it Perfect uh, But my top tip is to use either Apple Pay or Google Pay where possible Thank you for that Jess Rock a sense as ever that is News Talks Technology correspondent there Jess Kelly